Hello children, welcome to Math Park. Our today's topic is trigonometry. It is related with the right triangle. Tri meaning three, gone meaning sides and then the measures. So it is related with the right triangle, very useful in navigation. So here we are going to do the questions which are related with IGCSE curriculum. Though it is useful for all the boards, let us understand what is trigonometry and the basics of that. So when we are going through trigonometry, it's a right triangle over here and acute angle X, the longest side in a right angle triangle and which is opposite to 90 degree is called the hypotenuse. The side which is adjacent to this X is an angle and the side which is next to this angle is called an adjacent side. So these are the terms which we are going to use and the side which is opposite to angle X. So this is the opposite side which is we call it as opposite. So we are going to use these terms opposite, hypotenuse and adjacent. So remember children. So in a right triangle, so this is your, when we are looking for a angle X, this is opposite, adjacent and hypotenuse. So sin X is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Cos X is equal to, when you are talking of this X over here. So sin X is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Cos X is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. And tan X is equal to opposite by adjacent. So it's a famous mnemonic that you can remember here. So ka toa. Sin opposite hypotenuse. Cos adjacent upon hypotenuse. Tan opposite upon adjacent. Okay. The, so we have another uh, uh, more ratios. It is cosecant, which we call as cosec. And then we have secant, which we call as sec. And then we have cotangent, which is cot. And remember, sine and cosec are reciprocal. That is sin x into cosec x is equal to 1. Same way, sec x into cos x is equal to 1. And cot x into tan x is equal to 1. So if you know any one ratio, you can find the other ratios. So if you know, what the, these are the reciprocal. So if sin x is opposite upon hypotenuse, so cosec is going to be hypotenuse upon opposite. So remember this mnemonic, so ka toa. So, in this video, we are going to learn when uh, two things are given, how to find the third. That is, if you are given one angle and one side, then how to find one of the another side. Okay, two things are given, we find we can find the third. So, finding the side that we are going to learn over here, find the value of x, where this is the 24 degrees and acute angle, x is the side which is opposite to this. So, which ratio we have opposite upon adjacent? So that we will be taking. So which is that ratio which has opposite upon adjacent? So it is tan. So tan 24 is tan is as you say opposite by adjacent. So put the values. So replace opposite by x and the adjacent by 6. So we get x upon 6. So then if tan 24 is x upon 6, then you have get rid of, which is we have to find the value of 6. This 6 moves over here. It becomes multiplying by 6. When I multiply by 6 on both sides, what is going to happen? This 6 will get cancelled. That is how you get x is equal to 6 times tan 24. And then when we put this in the calculator, we get it as 2.67 centimeter to three significant figures. So 6 times tan 24, when you put 6 times, then it is tan 24. So let us put here tan 24, complete the bracket. So you have 2.67. Okay, and then you are asked to write the answer to three significant figures. That is how you get 2.67 to three significant figures. This is how you get 2.67 to three significant figures. Let us solve one more question here. Find the value of x. Now here, this is an acute angle and x is an side which is adjacent to it. So this and adjacent. So we will be taking that ratio, hypotenuse and adjacent. So it is cos ratio. So cos 73 is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So, we let us replace by x and hypotenuse by 8. So, tan cos 73 is equal to x upon 8. So, multiplying by 8 on both sides. So, when we multiply by 8 on both sides, what we get is this 8 and 8 get cancelled and 8 times. So, we get 8 into cos 73. Let us use cos 73 in the calculator and check what we get. It. So, 8 times cos 73. So, 8 times we have cos 73. Let us put the value of complete the bracket. Remember how to use the calculator. And which is equal to you get 2.33. 
okay so 2.33 is the value and you are asked to write up to three significant figures then this is going to be 2. Point. this is how you get the value of x as 8 times cos 73 which is when we are writing to it was 2.338 and up to three significant figures we get it as 2.34 let us solve one more question now find the value of x again so this is the x which is opposite and then it is the hypotenuse so which ratio we are going to use for opposite upon uh, opposite and hypotenuse of course sine so using the sine ratio we get opposite by hypotenuse so sine 40 is equal to opposite by hypotenuse so opposite is x and hypotenuse is 5 so x upon 5 multiplying by 5 on both side we get x is equal to 5 times sine 40 and let us use our scientific calculator and put the value of sine 40 there so 5 times that is 5 multiplied by sine 40 sine 40 let us see what do we get here bracket complete and which we are getting as 3.2139 so 3.2139 when we are looking for three significant figures this is going to be 3.21 so this is how we get the value of x that is opposite side as 3.21 centimeter up to three significant figures okay now find the value of x again so here we are again finding the side fourth question this is 65 now this is the hypotenuse and we are given the adjacent side so hypotenuse and adjacent which ratio adjacent upon hypotenuse so we'll be using the cos ratio over here so cos 65 is adjacent divided by hypotenuse so let us put the values so adjacent is 15 and hypotenuse is x put the value so we will be multiplying by x on both so when we multiply by x on both sides when we multiply by x on both sides, we get this x cancel and we are getting x into cos 65 is equal to 15. And further, you get, if I have to find x, then cos 65 moves over here. So, we get x is equal to 15 upon cos 65. Let us put this in our calculator now, 15 divided by cos 65. So, 15 divided by cos 65. So, put that in the calculator carefully, cos 65, bracket complete, and which we get it as 35.49. So, 35.49, if you have to write to three significant figures, this is going to be 35.5. This is how the value of x we get it as 35.5 to three significant figures. Got it? Now, let us understand how to find the angle when two things are given find the value of x now x is an angle which is to be calculated and you are given the hypotenuse and the opposite side so hypotenuse and opposite we have the sine ratio so sine x is opposite by hypotenuse so opposite is your 5 centimeter and hypotenuse is 9 so 5 by 9 so if we have to find x then we will take sine inverse x so we will write here use x to find x we use sine inverse button on our calculator so we get x is equal to sine inverse 5 by 9 let us use sine inverse 5 by 9 in our calculator so we now find sine inverse 5 by 9 so 5 divided by 9 sine inverse of 5 by 9 is going to be the value of x complete the bracket so it is 33.748 so 33.748 if i have to write to three significant figures it is going to be 33.7 this is how you get the value of x as 33.7 to three significant figures. Got it? How to find the angle when two sides are given. Okay. Let us move on to question number two of this type. So, again, we are finding this x where you are given the adjacent side and hypotenuse. So, 5 centimeter is your adjacent and hypotenuse. So, adjacent upon hypotenuse is your cos ratio. So, cos x is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. Let us put the values. It is 5 by 8. So, x is equal to cos inverse 5 by 8. Let us use cos inverse button in our calculator now. So, cos, so cos inverse 5 divided by 8 will be putting here. 5 divided by 8 and which we get it as 51.31. Up to 3 significant figures, it is going to be 51.3. So, this is how we got x is equal to 51.3 to 3 significant figures.
Now find the value of x. One more question. So here again, you are given adjacent and opposite. So opposite and adjacent it is a tan ratio. So we'll be using tan x is equal to opposite by adjacent. So put the values tan x is equal to three by six, or you can say half. So x is equal to tan inverse three by six, or you can put tan inverse of half. So let us use the calculator to put the values of um, to get the value. So tan inverse three by six, we will be putting now three divided by six. So which we get it as twenty six point four six five. So if I have to write to three significant figures, this is going to be twenty six point six. So this is how we get the value of x as twenty six point six degrees to three significant figures. Got it? Let us understand three dimensional trigonometry now. So very useful, and I have taken one question from your book also, children. So please watch. So you are given a cuboid over here, and you have to find the angle between AG and the base. You need to look for the triangle. So to find the angle between AG and the base, AG and the base, you need to look for triangle ABC. ABC. So a, let us join this AC. So this is the triangle, the pink shaded that we have to look for. So for that, for finding that, let us first find out this is the angle which we have to target. That is angle between the AG and the, that is the diagonal and the uh, base. Okay. So this is the angle that we have to find out. So for that, we should know as we have seen that we can find the angle when we know two sides. So either I can find the hypotenuse or I can find AC. So let us find AC by using Pythagoras theorem. So you have AC is now since here AB was given as 7 and this is 6. So we are looking at this triangle ABC now. When we look at this triangle ABC, you have AC square is equal to, AC is the hypotenuse, 7 square plus BC square. This is the diagonal of the base of that cuboid. So which is 7 square which is 49 and 6 square is 36. So when we find it, we get AC square is equal to 85. So AC is equal to root 85 and we'll put this as root 85 now. Now what we do is we find the angle. For finding the angle, we now use trigonometry. It is opposite by adjacent. So we'll be using the tan ratio. So tan X is equal to 5 by 85. So X is equal to tan inverse 5 upon root 85. Use the calculator and put tan inverse of 5 upon root 85. Now you have understood how to use that which we get it as 28.5 degree to three significant figures. Now we'll be taking a question from your book children. It is a past paper question. So the diagram shows a triangular prism. ABCD is a horizontal rectangle with DA is equal to 10. This DA is 10 centimeter and AB is equal to 5 centimeter. And BCQP is a, BCQP is a vertical rectangle. B C Q P is a vertical rectangle over there and B P is equal to 6. You are given B P is equal to 6 centimeter. Calculate the length D P. Now to find length D P, we will have to join this uh, B D first. So if I have to join this B D and the angle that we have to find, the angle between D P and horizontal base, this is that angle X that we have to calculate. So to find D P uh, first, we will be finding uh, BD. So to find BD, we will have BD is equal to or I can find BD square is equal to 10 square plus 5 square. So which is 100 plus 25, that is 125. So I got BD square is equal to 125. Now I have to find DP. So where I'll be using this as... <coughs> Again, I can use the Pythagoras theorem or for now we'll be finding dp. So we find dp square is equal to now you have this is again a right angle triangle, a right angle at b, which is equal to bd square plus bp square, which is 125 plus 6 square, that is 125 plus 36 which is 6 plus 5, 11, carry 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 2, 6, 161. So root 161, if dp square is equal to 161, you have dp is equal to root of 161. Let us use...
which we get it as 12.68. 12.68, they have not specified to how many significant figures. So if I have to write to one significant figure, figure it is going to be 12.7, sorry, to three significant figures. Okay, now we got this as 12.7. Now we will be using trigonometry for finding value of x. Since opposite and hypotenuse, we are using dp over here. So we have sin x is equal to opposite which is 6 upon 12.7 so x is equal to sin inverse 6 upon 12.7 let us put in our calculator sin inverse 6 upon 12.7 so sin inverse 6 divided by 12.7 6 divided by 12.7 we get it as 28.19 so this is 28.19 degree. So up to three significant figures, we can write it as 28.2 degree up to three significant figures. So this is how we have completed with this. We'll be coming up more on trigonometry. Children, if you like the video, please share it with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.